I'm Stephen Coltai, and I uh, created the Global Entrepreneurship Program at the State Department about two and a half years ago. Um, I'm an entrepreneur by background, and I joined um, the Obama administration right at the beginning of the administration. Um, I, I had been uh, a retired entrepreneur, and I have always believed my the, the motto of my consulting business now is world peace through entrepreneurship. And I always believed that entrepreneurship was not only important for uh, you know, creating jobs and commercializing innovation, but it was also a very important bridge between people and between countries. From your perspective, uh, because you're an entrepreneur also, yes. you have a very active role in the ecosystem of uh, U.S. Uh, do you think what are the critical issues for development of the local ecosystem, for example, in Turkey? Do you have any some like a uh, obvious uh, things that you see? Well, you know, one thing I always say is I, I have this concept um, that there are six pillars to the ecosystem. Um, identify, train, connect and sustain, fund, enable policy, and celebrate entrepreneurs. And I try to develop programs in each of these six areas. And frankly, whether you are working in some part of the United States, that doesn't have such a developed ecosystem, or whether you are working in Turkey, it's not very different. It's really quite similar. So GDP per capita is not that important? The GDP per capita is not that important um, uh, in and of itself. What's much more important is um, uh, whether or not there are some of these kinds of financial investors. But if you look at the history of, of countries you know, I always talk about countries being at the tipping point to go entrepreneurial. So I say it's it's like a clock. I like to work in countries that are between nine o'clock and twelve o'clock. So close to the tipping point to go entrepreneurial. If you look at countries that have successfully done this, and I could give you many, many examples. You know, Korea, Malaysia, Chile, Rwanda. But if you look at, at, at any of these countries, I mean, Rwanda is one of my favorites because Rwanda went from the genocide to having, for the last 10 years, the highest increase in per capita income in sub-Saharan Africa. It has tripled its, its, its per capita GDP, very much like Turkey did within uh, the space of 15 years. Like Turkey did, although they're at a much, much lower level. And they had a huge emphasis on entrepreneurship, especially youth entrepreneurship. So my point is that you can be at any level of development and still develop or still adopt entrepreneurship promotion programs that are appropriate to the country, to the particular country. And the same is true in Turkey. Turkey is at a much higher level, but it still has a long way to go. Okay, okay and do you think the emer um, countries in Middle East they also have similar pattern? Well, I mean, you know, if you look at the overall level of development of the ecosystem, probably Jordan is the most developed MENA country, um, although Jordan is much behind Turkey, but I still think it's probably the most developed of the MENA countries. Um, but, you know, these things, as I said, are can change relatively quickly. One thing that is absolutely certain is that um, government is indispensable in creating a successful entrepreneurial ecosystem. There's no example in the world, and I've studied a lot of countries' entrepreneurial history, there's no example of a country that was successful in developing an entrepreneurial ecosystem without government leadership. You have the, the business regulatory business climate that's very important. You have the investment climate that's very important. Generally, um, and this is true everywhere starting in the United States, the most significant, I mean, the internet was created by the U.S. government funding DARPA, which was a Defense Department related information system. So, you know, every country that you look at, 
the, the role of government is absolutely critical, and that's true in Turkey, too. Okay, okay. thank you very much.